guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Marvel's Collector's Core Unboxing. Now, I've actually got the kids behind me today. I've got Oliver and Julian because it's just that time of the week. But I did get in the mail today a Collector's Core box for this month. The June box, Women of Power. So we're going to open that up. I like the I like this. Uh, it, it gives me a little bit of hope. I like Spider Gwen, um, so that her being on the very front cover is really cool to me. So let's uh, scrub her off. You guys stay back. Ooh. Sit back. Oh. Let's open her up. I like the front too. I didn't show you guys the front. Women of Power. Uh, it's kind of like a month late because last month was Women of Power month. It's it just, I don't know. Maybe they could have made it correspond a little bit better. Or maybe they could have put out an extra box. That would have been kind of neat too, but yeah. they didn't. Now, let's pop her up. So first thing off, we know we're gonna have our patch and our pin, but we've got the cover, the inside oh. flap. That looks really cool. I've right, got, from what it looks like, we've got Jane Foster Thor, Black Widow, Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, uh, Spider Gwen, she is kind of swinging in, and it looks like maybe possibly that that is She-Hulk, not really sure on that one to be honest, but, so we first off we get our, our pin, yeah our pin is Spider Woman, so that's really cool. And our patch, I like the patch. Patch, well, I mean, it's all right. It's not the best patch they've done, but we have uh, Kamala Khan. No, that's Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel. So that's really neat. I'm gonna try and get a better close-up of the, the pin here so you guys can get a better look at it. That is Spider-Woman. And we're gonna open the box up. And we've got a card inside. It's got last month's night. I will do this. You, you wait just a second. Shh. Yeah, that's next. It's a card. It's got all the stuff that we got this month in here. So, I mean, that, I like the cards and all, but I think they should probably be at the bottom of the box. That way they don't uh, ruin what's in the box. But first off, we'll just, we'll just wait. Don't touch it. Oh don't God. open nothing up oh first up and I like this this is absolutely awesome to me Wow! I like these gray shirts this is the third gray shirt that we got we got one in October for the villains box we got one uh, in the very first box and now we've got this one which I I just love I love the gray shirts <laughs> and we have Spider Gwen. It's, it's, it's not an overly complicated, and it's not a pop. It's not really a pop pop shirt, but I enjoy this. This is probably one of my favorite shirts so far. The other ones just seemed really cluttered, to be honest. I mean, the first one was was really a. Um, the first one was kind of like a Daddy? boxing poster. The next one. The great next gray one was the uh, the October villains box that had a bunch of uh, villains on it, so it was really kind of cluttered. It was a good shirt. Don't get me wrong; they always put out good shirts. I'm wearing the Ant Man one right now, which was the second shirt that they put out, second box that's that they put Ant -Man. out. Yep, that's Ant Man. Why are you playing? And our comic book next up is Civil War Two. Wow. Number one variant edition. Daddy, it's got. Uh, looks like we've got Jane Foster Thor without her helmet on in here, because that's that's kind of what the press plates look like here. Spider Woman, Ms. Marvel, Captain Marvel. That's kind of weird to me that they would have uh, Ms. Marvel and Captain Marvel in the same comic uh, on the cover because they're the same character. It just seems like they could have put someone else on here and that would have made a lot more sense and Electra. Hey, 
But overall, so, it's a nice poppy. On the bed. It's a nice poppy comic. I mean, they're yeah, all in pop form. So that's really neat and that will go into so. my collection with the other ones because I have all of them so far now. Next up, we have three items left. And these, we have the mystery minis, but they're not so much mystery because they have on the cover who they are. We have a Captain Marvel. This. And we have a She-Hulk. Which I, I kind of, I dig the mystery minis, but I don't go out of my way to buy them. This is the She-Hulk, right? Yeah, but that's, uh, the one you've got is Captain Marvel. Yeah. So we've got She-Hulk right here. Uh, uh, no, that's uh, Captain Marvel. This one is She-Hulk. I like how the boxes are made now that they, so we'll pop her out of the bag. First off, we have She-Hulk, and these are bobbleheads too. Bobbleheads too? Yep, these are bobbleheads. And like I said, I like the mystery minis, but I don't like the uh, the mystery part of them. So I don't uh, I don't get them. I don't I don't like being surprised because I don't want to end up with more of the same things. But she is absolutely really cool looking. I I like this one a lot. So. She looks amazing to me. Next up we have, only problem I'm having is she don't want to stand up. She does not want to stand, she just wants to fall over. She's one of those ones that you're going to have to lean up against something, which is okay because I can just lean her up against the pops that I have here on the counter. And we will open up now, Captain Marvel. So let's pop this box open. Like I said, I do like the fact that you're not completely destroying the boxes anymore because it, usually you used to open them and it would just like destroy the box completely. But uh, this is this is her box. I don't know if I stuck her box up there really well or not. But and then you've got the back that has both of them on it. So you've got that. Let's pop open this one. Hey. Daddy, Rocket Yeah, Rocket fell down. Rocket and Groot from the uh, Christmas box are sitting right here on my my stand too. But Rocket doesn't like to stand up so well. So I like this. I, I like Ms. Marvel, oh, the outfit better. That. But if I had to pick a Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, it would be the one without the helmet. I don't like the helmet at all. So I like this though, she is helmetless, so that's really nice. And she's also got like her little cosmic blasts coming off of her hands, which is really neat. You can see there the light shines on them and it just, it makes it, it makes it look really cool to me. I like that effect that they give these little pops like that. And overall I like, I like Captain Marvel too. Captain Marvel's really, really cool. It's just going to be, will she stand? Yep, she will actually stand on her own, so awesome there. And we are on to the last thing in the box. And I'm going to say right now, this is probably the best, the absolute best pop that uh, Collector Core has put out yet, aside from Hulkbuster. Because it's so it's it's obscure. I, I liked Morbius as the Halloween pop because he's obscure. It's not a pop you would have really thought you were gonna get. Uh, probably would have been more happy with like Werewolf by Night or something. It would have been really really obscure. This one is absolutely obscure, and uh, I'm really happy about it. I like the ones on the back of the box too, but I this one is. This is really cool to me. We got Squirrel Girl. Now I know you're probably like, if you watch the uh, if you watch the uh, Spider-Man, the uh, the new one, the Ultimate Spider-Man, you'll know who Squirrel Girl is because she does make an appearance in in that. But this is really cool to me because she is just she is just an obscure character. 
and I like the fact that we get her little squirrel with her and it's she is she is so cool looking I it's it's just I like obscure rare pops I don't like getting ones that we know over and over and over and this is as far as I know the first squirrel girl pop that they've ever done so so let's pop all these bad boys out of here and the little squirrel actually is a bobblehead as well it's kind of like in the same vein that uh, it's in the same vein that little ant-man came in in the, uh, the ant-man collection box so I am really really happy about this I love this pop her tail her tail's a little off it seems like like maybe mine mine didn't get glued together right or something but it, it just looks kind of off a little bit on her tail you can see there's like a little slump there in it but other than that overall I'm really happy with this one she is absolutely amazing looking gotta spin her head back the other way just a tiny bit there we go now she looks like she's about centered up I, just, I don't know it's it's really I like these obscure little details that they do and then you've got the little bow on it its head a little bit not glued on as, as good as it probably could be I think but yeah overall I'm really happy with this design, this character. This one is, is really exciting to me because, like I said, I like the obscure, I like the new, different things. It would have been a little bit disappointing to me if I would have just got like a She-Hulk or a Captain Marvel or something out of this box. I'll, this makes my day completely that we get Squirrel Girl and Tippy Toe. As you can tell, it's it could have been Monkey Joe, but I mean, we get, we get tippy toe, and we know because of the little pink bow that they put on the back of it. That's the only the only thing that that really kind of puts it together to let you know that that is tippy toe is the fact that it, it does have the bow on top of its head or on the back of its neck rather. So there we have it. We've got. Squirrel Girl, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and do this. I'm gonna try and get it up here so that we actually have. Where did Tippy Toe go? Oh no, I've lost Tippy Toe, guys. So you got Squirrel Girl. I wish there was some kind of way to mount Tippy Toe onto her, which it would make it so much easier. But he doesn't want to stay. I'm trying to make him, I'm trying to make her cling to her ear here and stay on. But, oh. I'm going to end up breaking it. I'm going to end up breaking it. That's all there is to it. Tippy Toe is not going to live through the day. But I'll stay on there. There we have it. That's a little bit better. Tippy Toe? Yeah, Tippy Toe. Tippy Toe is one of Squirrel Girl's pet squirrels, allies, whatever you want to call them. They're her friends. So there we have Tippy Toe and Squirrel Girl. Best thing I can do. That's the way they're going to stay in my little, little recording area here. I'm going to put her up here on, behind my Ant-Man. Ant I actually may get rid of my Ant-Man and put him somewhere else. And I'm going to leave Tippy Toe laying right on top of her head. So I am absolutely really happy about this box. This box was really cool. Um, so we, we've got... There were some other concepts for uh, the t-shirt apparently and they were all black. I'm really glad that we got the, the, the Heather Gray. I like the gray shirts a lot more especially where it's summertime. <laughs> but the other shirts look pretty cool too. It's like there was one there was another Spider Gwen variant that looks really cool um, and then they had two pop actual pop versions which one was Electra and one was Captain Marvel. Which I'm glad that we didn't go with the Captain Marvel. Uh, Electra would have been fine because Electra wasn't anywhere in the box. Um, that's really about it. And it, it just goes over the, the little details with uh, 
with Squirrel Girl and the comic and the patch and pen and the details with the uh, the mystery minis that they did and then we get which I'm really excited about this one too because I lo absolutely love 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 this the next box we're getting Spider-Man and I really really hope that we get some kind of cool variant character or a new character that's a villain from Spider-Man out of this box. I don't want another Spider-Man. I don't. We have enough Spider-Mans as it is. Plain and simple. I would I would love to get I don't know, maybe like a rhino or something. A rhino, a vulture would be absolutely amazing. Vulture would be really cool. Craven the Hunter. Just give us give us something awesome in this box and don't give us just another Spider-Man. We got Miles Morales out of the uh, the third box that you guys put out. Marvel Collector Corps, please give us a Craven the Hunter, Rhino, or Vulture out of the next box. That would be absolutely amazing. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this unboxing, and we'll, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Lying down